Let me start by saying I really do appreciate the members of the KPM, KP? KMPDU. Sorry, let me say this again. I really appreciate these doctors for agreeing to go back to work on certain conditions. And those conditions, when you listen to them, they are not things which are very difficult to be achieved by a country which seems to be making a lot of money, including paying a lot of bills of the Eurobond. Those irreducible, irreducible minimums are things that, when you hear them, are things that will be able to ensure that there is sanity. Hospitals are closed. We are losing mothers. We are losing children. And these doctors are only saying, pay us our 12,000 shillings, which the court had agreed that will be increased to be paid to us. They are also saying, pay the interns money. Now imagine an intern is being paid 20,000 shillings, and that intern is the one who is supposed to take care of you. So we are here, we are happy to have met with them. There are serious challenges, and these challenges, people seem not to be realizing them. Health is devolved. When you go to Machakos County, the hospitals are closed. When you go to Nairobi County, the hospitals are closed. If you go to Narrow County, the hospitals are closed, or even if they are open, they are no doctors. These doctors are also saying that we are overworked. You've not employed any doctor since five years ago. The last doctors who are employed, if you count from the inception of the devolution, they are only less than a thousand. Yet the country is increasing. So these are the issues that these doctors are saying this government is not listening to. So we've had a meeting with them and we have agreed that they are ready to go to work only when certain irreducible minimums are met. Number one, again, is in pay their 12,000 shillings, which was said. Number two, don't belittle the work which is done by the interns by paying them less than 30,000 shillings, even less than a security officer, you know. Number three, they're saying that they are overworked. They cannot continue working, you know, many hours. Hospitals have, you will go to Mombasa, you'll find that he only has one neurosurgeon. How do you expect people of Mombasa to get their services? We are also happy that they realize that people are suffering. So to be able to end this struggle that we have at the moment, which we support them entirely, the government must now listen to them. The government must respect court orders to be able to ensure that we remain in a country that respects the rule of law.